Tonight on KX News, we continue to report on opioids prescribed to injured workers. The North Dakota Workers Compensation Program is funding the narcotics given to the injured workers. Burley County has the highest prescription rate in the state. KX News has had several people reach out to tell their story of addiction. Tonight, we introduce you to Richard Landsberger. Landsberger was a case stacker operator for Land Lakes Milk. He was first injured in 2005, then again in 2007. I was standing in front of the stacker and the stacks fell out of the stacker and I grabbed him, went to set him upright and the jaws closed on the stacker again and pushed the stack up and my arm snapped and I thought, Felt like it broke my arm in here and I tore the bicep off. In 2011, following yet another on the job injury, he started using opioids every day. The surgeon said, Your shoulders are shot, you need shoulder replacement. And he did talk to me about disability in 2011, but I was 51 years old. I, I can't do this at 51. He was given an FCE, or functional capacity evaluation. It's a test for an injured worker who is being treated under a worker's compensation claim, and it determines your ability to perform essential work functions. In 2014, there were numerous doctors that tried to get another FCE and workforce safety just ignored him. Landsberger says he was denied multiple exams as his condition got worse and he injured his back. In 2018, he was found physically unable to work four years after his doctors first began pushing for a new FCE test. His wife, Marie Landsberger, claims WSI will help injured workers as long as they can work. I just want to force him back to work and he hasn't got anything left. When I spoke with the WSI director in January, he stressed that they do not prescribe opioids. They simply pay for the doctors to do their job. Since that January interview, WSI has turned down KX News on multiple occasions to speak deeper on the topic. National and statewide concerns over the opioid epidemic have even led to legislation. House Bill 1063 would have required injured workers to come back to the doctor every week to be reevaluated and re up their prescription. The medical community fought hard against the bill, and it narrowly failed. The North Dakota Medical Association says their concern with the bill is, quote, that it flatly denies payment for higher doses, whether or not the prescriber is able to justify the dosage. They believe this limit should be worked out by WSI's case management for individual patients, rather than having a law imposed by the legislature dictating doctors' decisions. The governor, who has made his stance against addiction a priority of his administration, had this to say. While North Dakota Workforce Safety and Insurance does not prescribe opioids, the governor is aware of several measures WSI has taken to address opioid usage and is supportive of those efforts, including proposed legislation that unfortunately has not been approved. Marie Landsberger says the bill was ridiculous and wouldn't have helped. She says, to receive your pain medication, WSI makes you go to pain management. I assume the larger areas have their own pain management clinics, but the rural areas do not. Therefore, for everyone to go to pain management every week would be at times impossible because of weather, being able to drive, or what have you. Do you feel like you're addicted? Yeah, I would think I am. My family doctor absolutely believes it for the length of time I've been on them. Renee Cooper, KX News. 2013 legislative session, the Department of Human Services was authorized to regulate opioid treatment programs. Here's a list of the facilities that offer treatment covered under the state under the North Dakota Substance Use Disorder Voucher.
just record it now. No, that's fine. I thought you meant in the recording booth. This is better. I just have to do that. I've just never I'm trying to think if I've cut something from Premiere and put it on the internet before. I've only ever cut it through Envato. Yeah, I mean, you might you might have to ask them how to add a clip, but they seem I'm ninety five percent sure. I feel like I've done it one other time. I just can't remember how I did it. Let me figure it out. I was a little late, but I had to do both, so That's fair. That was a lot to do. Okay, is it recording now? Yeah, I think that's still up. This is all on the same. Okay. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds good. All right, so I'll just count down. Okay. All right, three, two, one. During the 2013 North Dakota legislative session, the Department of Human Services was authorized to regulate opioid treatment programs. Here's a list of the facilities that offer treatment covered by the state under the North Dakota Substance Use Disorder Voucher.